okay. It's all right. Everybody relax. They're gonna be very mixed. Twenty nine card pick up. Anybody at home is going to <laughs> definitely totally believe that they've fine. been really mixed. None of them fell through the cracks, everybody. It's fine. None it's fine. Them, it's all fine. Back again at the handlebar, hanging out with Alan Paletti. What do you got for us this week? Okay. Well, I need a helper. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that awkward moment when nobody right. volunteers. Right. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you want to give these a shuffle or shall I? I can do it. Okay, no. give them a good mix. Hand it to me. <laughs> they're going to be shuffled. They're fresh, okay? They're like they're like fancy. Like whatever. morning dew. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me just, do I need to count if there's 52? No, that's okay. Do you want me to do it again? I think we're good. No, no. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How fast he jumps on that. No, no, definitely not again. It's fine. They're very mixed. No, it was a fine job. Thank, Thank you. you. Any one you want. <laughs> Except that one. Please show it to everybody. I won't look. All right. Got it. Yep. Yep. All right. Everybody's got it? Yep. All right. Pop it back down in there if you would, please. I'm, so I'm going to find your card in 51 tries or less. Okay. I don't know. Oh. There might be one under the table. <laughs> there might be. There might be. So look, here's how we're going to do it. Kind of get this over here, and I'm gonna wrap all these cards into like a little bundle, okay? It's like a little, uh, you know, like a little hobo sack or something. A bindle. A bindle, is that what that's called? Yeah. A bi I learned something today. Now look, we're just, th just think about just your card, okay? Watch. Stop it. Those are the choo choo trains that the hobos are riding when they hold their bindles. <laughs> And of course, uh, you can look at everything. No hole, no uh, no nothing. Was that your card? That, that, was my, that was my card. What I love about this is you could do it with the signed card, you could do it with tarot cards, you could do it with any kind of, you could do it with anything. credit cards. I hope you don't have that many credit cards though. <laughs> <laughs> Alan, how far back does this As go? As well over 300 years. Yeah? yeah? So I would assume that you did it with the bandana, but you could do it with the dinner napkin or sure, any yeah, other any kind of cloth, whatever. It's good to test it beforehand because some cloths have different properties, but in most cases, Anything you have will work. So I did see it was a totally fair choice. The cards were definitely very much shuffled. <laughs> very well mixed. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. And then uh, when the card was removed, I'm going to assume that you did some mojo to get a card to the top, right? Yes. Which means that it could have been a signed card, could have been a whatever, could be doesn't anything. matter. Well, and then what? Like, so the cards on top, I'm going to guess, pardon me, that you drape it over with a cloth and it's the one, two. The cloth goes over, then the deck goes on top. I'm gonna bet not all the cards in the deck go That's on right. top. One stays behind your card. All right, all right, walk me through this. Okay, so we have uh, whatever card it is. Well, you had the three hearts before, it doesn't matter, but that's what we have. Okay. All right, so I have the whole deck in my hand, face yep. up. The cloth goes over top. This is a good chance for everybody to see that there's no holes in it, which is good. And then my right hand comes underneath the cloth, and what I'm doing is I'm just grabbing the entire deck, except for the top card, the, very, the card took closest to my palm. And how do you set that up? Are you doing like a pinky thing or? I just slide over and pick up. Uh, you know, that your hand kind of gri oh, grips that. Oh, that's right, that, because uh, you've got actually. that gripping surface yeah. on there. So so just make sure to, to slide everything but that top card that's off. Right. So under the ha cover of the handkerchief, you grab the whole deck, 40, or I guess it'd be 51 cards. That one card, the three of hearts stays behind. Okay. Now something you do have to be aware of is whenever you're using different cloths, sometimes that might show. You're using a very white cloth, like it. Yeah. You can, oh you, yeah. You look closely, Actually, yeah. I, I, I totally didn't see that at first, but That's, now I can. You can combat that by just creating a little bit of yeah. pocket of air with your fingers. Yeah. Now okay. I can see it. And so now you can't see anything at all. And then that goes just right, right on top. And yeah, you settle the, everything together. Now everything's square, including the card below. It's like a little uh, handkerchief sandwich. Right. The order that you do this is important too, or at least you have to do the top first. Okay. You notice with the angle here, I have. Diamond point, diamond point. See, and I was distracted by the whole bindle conversation because I was like, ooh, a bindle. <laughs> ooh, a bindle. So now you have that in half, right? Now you're gonna grab everything, yeah. including that bottom, and you're going to tuck one side under, the other side under, so now you have this underneath. So I'm assuming that both obfuscates the ability to see it as you lift it up, but mm -hmm. also provides friction so that it doesn't just slowly out. comes it directs out. Directs it straight down. Yeah, you know, so I, do, I give it a little twist here. You want to be careful also when you do this because you don't want it to do that. Right. Okay. You want a little bit of a twist or at least have a nice tight bundle there so nothing else comes undone. Uh, but you don't want it to twist, so you got to be careful. And at careful. this point, I assume you're angling it towards yourself, and these guys are providing cover 
that 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 keeps it from almost everybody yeah, that's else's view. That's what it looks view. like for me for the back. Oh, that's great. And so so give give me a shake and let me see kind of how it because it, it really does. It ends up looking like it yeah. melts right through. And sometimes that'll take a while, and you know, you're gonna go, do you want it to fall all the way on the floor? Do you want to? So what I do is if I get it a, at least a little bit out so people can see that, you got that nice Is it image. too risky a thing to have somebody put their hand out and grab it for you to uh, pull it out? It, it depends on if they're drunk or not. Yeah, well, <laughs> because I suspect it would feel yeah, weird it's, it's, to, to feel the, the friction, the friction. It on there. It does feel like yeah, yeah. fabric ripping. It's kind of a, It definitely feels yeah. like it's pulling right through. Yeah. Here, try, try this, try this. Oh, it does. Right? It feels it like it's feel melting like right it's through it. Going. Oh my goodness. Now, another important point too, if you do it that way, uh, you might have to lift up on it. They may not pull down, yeah. so pulling up, keeping that frame is good. And in fact, it's probably good. safer to say don't pull down. It's yeah. probably safer to say you just hold that and then you just shake it as you pull it up. Okay, all right, look, here's the question. Which one of you guys is gonna perform this for us? Your turn. Uh, well, did you see what I just did to that deck of cards? <laughs> 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 All right, what do I do now? You want, uh, you want me to pick a card? Oh, yeah, I wanted you to pick a card. <laughs> That's what I wanted you to do. All right, I got this one. Got it? So now, let's just assume you already have a method to get a card you're, you're to the top. You're good at this card. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the card Ow. ends up on... T oh, oh, oh. Right? Don't Are you going to do... Uh, sure, yeah, that works. That's fine, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> it's on top. Hey. I, I swear, if at this point you're watching Scam Nation and you don't know how yeah. to get a card on top of the deck, then we have to have a conversation. Was... Okay, so now you're going to turn these all face up in your left hand like this, okay? And you're going to drape that over top like that, okay? And then make a bindle. Well, you're going to pull all... All but one. All, all but one. All but... Got it. And put them down on top. Perfect. Now we make the bindle. I pull the bindle. I... I, I swaddle. A little bit exposed here. You want to keep it as a block if you can. There you go. Okay. I'm swaddling. <laughs> swaddling. Nothing to see here, folks. That's, That's pretty good, top. actually. Twist. Not, twist. Not too much, it. though. That's good. Oh my god. I, I think she's got it. I think I she's think got it. Too, I think yeah. she's got it. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> no, it's not, it's not, it's not bad. Keep, keep, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Oh, oh. Keep shaking, keep shaking until it goes down just enough. And then, then you went, no, oh my oh, god. Oh, there it is. Was that your card? That is my card. Oh, that's freaking wonderful. Well done, Jess. That's awesome. <laughs>